Hey y'all, just taking a little bit of a break, trying to put this uh, wool insulation in. I've got some videos I've kind of made splicing together, time lapse with the GoPro. Uh, dealing with a little some technical issues because there's uh, this corner panel back here, there's a leak. But the weather's uh, on and off, whatever, until I fix it, so I'm doing everything else. I still got the roof and then that corner panel to do. And I'm close to done. And I still got two full boxes. So I guess I'm going to have to double insulate. So anyways, there's a, something that's kind of been bothering me. I don't know if it should bother me or not. Move in. So as you know, I just transported uh, nine animals in here. Um, you know, a few weeks ago. So there was a bid that I was working on. That was just slightly over a thousand, mi uh, a thousand miles. Uh, it was a family of five. And one of the dogs was a Great Dane. Well, I've transported Great Danes before. And my largest crate that you saw that had, like, the German Shepherds. And my largest crate is technically big enough for the average size of a Great Dane. So, um, I didn't get all the measurements right up front when they booked me. And I'm like, well, I've got the crates or whatever. Um, and, you know, I thought it was assuming that it was, like, one measurement. So, I... Asked them again, I'm like, hey, let's double check the measurements real quick because I know I could fit the four other dogs for the family without a problem. Um, and the issue that I had with this one is that the length, I have the crate for the length, the height was like ginormous. So, you know, I always deal with, you know, delays, critical thinking skills. I'm always having to solve problems. I mean, you've seen all the issues that I've encountered. I mean, you've only, you only see like, a minute glimpse of like hundreds of hours not hundreds but like probably 120 to 40 hours a week worth of work um you know critical thinking skills or whatever so i'm like well you can't just get that specific crate you can't just go to like pet smart pet co trader supplies and get the crate that you need to be usda compliant for that dog and i'm like well let me check Facebook Marketplace because I was like, I'm going to basically need a custom airline crate. And I said, let me call the zoos. So I called a few zoos, left a voicemail, I actually called Disney's Animal Kingdom, um, their director or whatever, and a couple of other places. So I ended up finding a crate that is well over larger than this dog. Um, this dog's 48 inches long. This crate's like 60 something inches long. The dog's 46 inches tall. I think it's like shy of one inch and 30 inches wide it will fit in that basically back forth it will take up the whole space so i'm like explaining to the customer the customer is like wishy-washy um wishy-washy on like you know my basically my confidence of doing the job for some reason because i didn't have the correct initial crate it's not a problem i deal it all the time like i'll get booked routes where there's more dogs than i have crates and i can just stop and grab a crate it's not hard for me to find a crate it just takes time and a little bit of energy to do it so i was like you know explaining to him i was like hey the crate's not gonna clear that by one inch and i said well man I'll, i just need to tip it in at an angle and slide it in or put it on its side slide it in flip it over or put it through the slide door over here so no problem you know and like tell them like hey everything is fine but like the customer is just getting like worried that i can't do the job and they're kind of they were first wanting to cancel it and transfer the dog they had like three cars and people they're gonna do it and then they were like back on me when i said hey i found a crate and now i was trying to explain how i'm gonna get the crate in there and where everything's gonna sit because it's empty so i can be like hey this dog's here 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 you know working on the insulation or whatnot and actually this is going to be better insulated than when it was when I had the nine animals because I'm like putting in the wool right now. So it's going to be even cooler in here than when it was before. So after dealing with all that, she's like, no, I'll just do the dogs like, like wishy washy. And then this comment is basically what bothered me is that it said, unless you want to be a great day and transporter, don't do much else. And I'm thinking, is she insulting my Terry? I said, I have, I was like, I've had people ask me to transport horses, miniature cows, goats, stuff so much bigger than Great Dane. It's just the availability to do it and time and research to get a crate that meets USDA standards to do it because I can't just throw a wire crate in there. So, and I'm pushing because I'm trying to do this before my Alaska trip. So I'm pushing on a tight schedule. 
So this crate that I found was literally in Central Florida. So I drive, I'm at my dad's, drive from Georgia to Central Florida, then up there and go. You know, no problem, problem solved. But, and it was a, uh, it was a big trip. I mean, a uh, very, ex not, I want to say very expensive, but it was a very profitable trip. So what do y'all think? Hopefully you, you uh, stayed with me to the end of this story.